He's one of the best scientific minds we have today. Right now seems like a pretty good time for me to intervene and kind of explain, you know, what's going on. So, as many of you guys know, this is my E46 wagon. I've had it for damn near eight years, which is crazy to say out loud. But the past three years or so, it's been so heavy, heavily neglected, and it's time to take care of it. So, I'm finally in a position now where I can use, you know, all the knowledge that I've gained over the past 10 plus years and really just dump it all into this car, inside and out. And, you know, I'm going to be starting in the engine bay. I've got, you know, leaky coolant lines that are intake manifold. The radiator's leaking as of like two weeks ago. The fan shroud's broken. Valve cover gaskets all dry rotted from sitting for so long. So I just wanted to get this information to you now because, you know, I don't normally talk in these videos. And it's a little bit hard sometimes to, to decipher, you know, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So now that you got that information, <laughs> there's only one thing to do. And that's time to get back to the music, baby.
mentioned earlier I was going to be replacing the valve cover gasket because it was super dry rotted, this and that. But upon further inspection, it's actually mint. It is only three years old, so that makes sense. It's just the grommets that are really dry rotted. And also, I realized I never even ordered the gasket to begin with. So that's my fault, but I'm going to pop the new grommets on and we'll be mint. Just wanted to clear that up.
ago I had a rock get stuck in the top of my tire tread, duffed my whole fender. So that's where these dents came from. I got some crispy ones sitting upstairs. So we're gonna take these off, be able to clean everything and then go from there.
So, I don't know how well this translates on camera, but my new fender does not match my factory paint. I was, I was on the hunt for ages for a factory fender in factory original paint, not repainted. I was under the impression that these were, um, but they're not, they don't match my car. So luckily this, my original driver fender was the one fender of the two that really wasn't all that bad. I had some chipped paint along the arch, but other than that, no dents, nothing crazy. So I test fitted my other new fender on the passenger side, which was the side that was super fucked up from the dents all on that arch from that rock. Um, and that side seems to be pretty damn good. I think they were both repainted, but the other side was repainted at a separate time and was done very well because that side, I can't even tell. It looks exactly the same to me. Um, the only difference is that obviously that fender is shinier than the rest of my paint because I haven't polished it yet, which will be in the next video. But uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna yank this back off. I'm gonna put my original fender back on and I'm just gonna, you know, I have some silver touch up that actually matches very damn good. And I'm just gonna touch up the very edge of my arch because I'd rather put up with that than an entire panel that doesn't match my car. So I'm gonna rip this back off. I'm gonna do that. And um, hopefully everything turns out good, man.
Let